Hello, and welcome in Channel Zoom for Display. In this video tutorial today I will explain how to create a robots.txt file for Blogger, in detail for beginners, the correct way to create a robot file, and what is the importance of a robot file in archiving your site's content. First, let us explain to you the meaning of the word robots file, robots.txt. What is the robots.txt file and why is it important? In short, a robots.txt file is a file that directs search robots and spiders to important pages on your site or pages that will be archived. This file tells search spiders that these pages are the most important on your site and that they will be archived, and also keeps them away from unimportant pages that should not be search spiders archive them and show them on search engines. Best Custom Robots.txt file. As showing in your screen, I will provide it in the article, link in the description. The robot file is made up of three custom parts, here explained in detail. The first part is, User Agent. Media Partners Google It is mainly intended for advertisements on your blog, specifically Google AdSense, where your blog is analyzed after adding this code to know the content of your site and add ads that better match the content of your site. The second part is, user agent. This part of the code is intended to prevent and allow specific files to be crawled within your site's content. For example, if you want to allow all your site's content to be archived, we will add, allow, immediately after this command, as in the robot file attached to the explanation. But if you want to prevent crawling of searches, for example within your site, add this command disallow, search. The third part is, Sitemap it is the file that contains the entire content of your site in a renewed way, as this file is constantly checked every time the search spiders enter your site in the event that you add a new post to your site to be archived. Go to your blog on Blogger, go to Settings, then Search Preferences, then go to Crawlers and Indexing, click on Enable Custom Robots.txt, then click on Custom Robots.txt. Now copy past the giving script, but first, change the URL to your blog URL sitemap. Do not forget to replace the part above the red line, with your website link and then click on save changes after finish pasting the script. Now our following step is to activate our robots crawling by clicking on enable custom robots header tags to allow crawling and archive with the right mode. Do exactly the step I do, this very important. Now our next ultimate step is to get register your blog sitemap on Google Search Console. Google Search Console is a free tool that helps users measure their site's traffic, see keyword performance, fix issues, and receive messages from Google about their website. It provides insight on how a website is doing in organic search as well as ways to make adjustments to the site in the Google index. On your first sign up this window will appear, here we work on Blogspot blog. So your blog address is a prefix URL, 
Enter your address blog, then click continue. Ownership accepted because your blog email is the same as your Google Search Console email. Now we need to register your blog sitemap. On your left menu click on the sitemaps, then submit your URL sitemap as I will show you, and we all done here. Success! Our sitemap is accepted and active. Every time you post a new topic on your blog the Google robots will crawl on and submit then your search console to index our Google search engine, and if there is an error on any page on your blog, the search console will notify you to solve indexing problem. Now just to make sure that our added robot script is working, you can add the following name to your blog link after the slash symbol and see if it redirects you to the robot script page, your blog address link, slash, robots.txt. Let's see. That is everything in our blogger lesson today, on how to get your Blogspot blog ready for Google search engine indexing. Thank you for watching I hope you find this tutorial useful and helps you. Please leave a comment for any opinion and suggestions, or any question. Subscribe and hit like button. Don't forget to visit my blog for best tech and life hacks articles and tutorials. Thank you and see in the next video.